So today we have a demo of a senior sewing machine with a treadle and this wheel here and that and that all goes together and so you always have to start it up with the wheel and you get it running and you can see now this you have to put the bobbin on that and you have to thread it a certain way but you have to wind it in that this piece turns that so when you put the thread on that and the bottom goes on this so that's why you have to do it so it'll turn back and forth and mine goes counterclockwise you want to make it go that way all right so now the I've usually been making designs, and so the belt goes on this big wheel, and so the belt, when when you make the treadle move, it makes this big wheel move, and and it goes up and up, and then it goes through this big piece of wood. It's got a hole in it, and it goes up and there, and then. Remember counterclockwise. Now this this is the belt. You you have to measure cut, measure cut, but um you have to slide it under there, put it on there, and then put it down from here. And this one piece goes down there, and then through there goes that. And it goes through these, and it goes on that wheel. And once you're done, you have to clip it together. But first, on this end, you have to punch a hole. And then you clip it together through that hole. But now, all these pieces, this is the ruffler, but it has all different designs you can make. So, yeah. Now, we're going to finish the design. And you can see on the belt we have one now, it's clipped. It's clipped there. So now you can see it. And this is the same belt. Now, if this one breaks, because I wish I could show you the old one, but they do worn out and break, but I have an extra for it. So, there we go. And we're gonna finish the design. Now, it, I don't have it threaded and everything, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. But I will show you how to do that. Now, and, and now, if you need to turn it, like turn on your cloth or anything, you have to lift the foot up and turn. And now I'm gonna show how to thread. I'm gonna see what type I want. I want this color, which is just something like a tannish color, and you put it on here first. Now see that hole, that middle hole you have to get um, this into. Sometimes it takes a while. And then we, it goes around there. You have to make it go around. And now I'm gonna show you how to thread it. You have to pull the thread. Now, this is mostly like a singer. Now, if you have the instructions, which I have an instruction manual. It's in here, it's almost falling apart. Since it came from Craigslist, it's really old. So it's falling apart. 
but it's all in different pieces. You can see how to thread it in that book if you have one. And now we're going to take it around there and then you put it on this and then you put sometimes it's hard to keep it through there but you always have to um kind of wet the thread and now you have to put it through this little hole Almost, it's like this little. Oh, yep, sometimes that happens. But you might have that problem too. And put it through there. And then you put it through this, which pulls the thread. Gotta get it through that hole. And then. You have to, and then after you get it in that, you have to get it in here. And this little, like, piece, then, you might think you have to put it on this little thingy, on that, but you don't. Then... You put it around. Sometimes it's hard to get it through that. And then you, this is always hard to get it through a tiny, tiny little hole. Sometimes you have to wet the thread. And then if you wet it, that helps a lot. Now you have to pull it. Now this goes up and down. And I'm gonna show you. And now we've got the actual claw. And we have to start it up with the wheel. Whichever way your sewing machine goes. And sometimes it takes a little while to get it started up, keep it going. Sometimes it pops out of the needle, which just happened. But you can fix that. If you need to, you can fix it.